In this video, we're speaking about how to get a job as a strategist in another country. My name's Julian Cole. I'm the founder of the Strategy Finishing School. I made the move from Australia to America at the very start of my career. And I'm joined by Grinny, who's a Strategy Finishing School member who also just made the move from India to Australia. So thanks for joining me, AK. I'd love to hear firstly, your journey. How did you make the decision to move and what was that like? Hi, Julian. I'm really excited to have this chat with you today. It's like, you know, just having this heart to heart about one immigrant to another. So I made this move because my husband got transferred here, so I really didn't have much choice in the matter. I was a strategist back in India in the experiential and activation space for eight years. So I was pretty well established, good place in my career, and I just thought, let's explore something new. And, uh, you know, I was really excited for this move. I thought finding a job in Australia would be great because I have some great portfolios. In my resume, like I've worked for some big brands like Unilever, PNG, Audi, Petronas, and have been involved in a lot of pitches, winning pitches for a lot of agencies throughout my career back in India. So I thought the move would be very, very easy, especially in terms of finding the job, but it's never really the case. <laughs> What were the main barriers that you ran up into when you moved? The very first thing, like I've spoken to a lot of my other friends moving to different countries from India, your resume would never be open. So you always get like an automated reply that, sorry, you didn't make the cut. And you really don't have the right feedback as to why your resume is not standing out. You have an updated LinkedIn profile, you have good testimonials and you have a good portfolio link. So that was really confusing until I got my first interview opportunity with a very reputed brand. And they just had a chat with me as to what I've done in the past. And they seemed very impressed. And then they went and asked me the D question, which is what frameworks do you use for strategy? What's your process? Like, just to give you a background, back in India, a strategist is also the creative conceptualizer who does, like, how strategy is different from different agencies and it's different in different countries. So I would also be the creative lead as a strategist. I didn't really use any frameworks. I was doing the 4C research, but I didn't know they were called 4Cs. I was just not able to tell them. So I was like, it depends on different briefs. Sometimes we do a SWOT analysis. Sometimes we, you know, it just depends. And I was not hired. And then I kept thinking, what are frameworks? You ended up using the strategy finishing school, it sounded like, to help you through that gap? Yes. So then I obviously started, you know, Googling, using ChatGPT to see how and what I can do with my strategy resume to make more sense for the Australian market. And I just came across your videos on YouTube. And I think the first video that I came across was how do you prepare for a strategy interview? And what was remarkable was that I couldn't see any other videos talking about ad strategy other than yours. And then one by one, it was a loop and I just kept seeing them on repeat and started making my notes. Amazing. And so you joined the strategy finishing school too. So what was the difference between doing the YouTube videos and the strategy finishing school? What did you find the biggest difference there? I think everything is really explained more in detail. Like, you know, why you're doing this, what's the context for those frameworks and also the community that it opens of other professional strategists from all around the world. So especially the Facebook community, wherein I see a lot of strategists on the way to work will just post a question like, oh, I'm dealing with this brief, I'm facing this problem. What do you guys think? And then everybody just gets together, giving them their two cents and suggestions. And I think there's so much real time learning from that Facebook group. It's like, it's really good to be connected to a whole because a lot of times strategy jobs are so much in silo that can really do wonders to kind of test your thoughts and see how that's being like perceived by different strategists. That's great. And it's, it's so funny because our history is virtually the same. When I was in Australia, I was a creative strategist, which was, I did creative and strategy together. So I didn't know how that there was a difference coming to a new market. And so when I went to America, it was the same thing. You're a strategist or you're a creative, you're not both. And I think 
that was a big learning curve for me. And a couple of things that made the difference is I did a strategy portfolio too and had some of the frameworks that we just talked about in there. I had a comms framework and a campaign ecosystem and that caught the eye and attention of my future bosses. I think the other thing is don't try to make too many, my biggest tip is kind of don't try to make too many moves at once. So a lot of people go from like copywriting and then they're like, I'm going to become a strategist in another country. Stay that role. If you're a copywriter, go to as a copywriter, then make the move over is the second kind of thing. And then the third piece is, I think a lot of strategy jobs for me come through a personal network. So find other people, other immigrants or yeah, expats who are in the exact same situation that you want to be in. So for me, it was finding Australians in New York who were working in advertising and strategy and connecting with them and asking them, hey, how do I do this? And then finally, I think for me, it was all about understanding the visa and making my future employees who may have not hired Australians before really comfortable saying, hey, I've got this. The visa process is really simple for me too. Any other tips that you would give strategists looking to make that move? Yes. So I think from just my experience, I feel like you have to localize your resume and portfolio depending on the market you are in. The keywords could differ. I mean, there's only so much you can learn about those keywords, but if you can do your research and just tailor your resume as for the local market, like for example, I think, in India, having the shortest resume is considered the most intelligent. However, in Australia, the longer your resume, the better. So just, you know, like things could be just opposite in the new market that you're moving to. So learning the basics. Of course, very good point about the community. So obviously, I started networking more on LinkedIn, finding local, you know, advertising strategies. Just sometimes recruiters look at your LinkedIn and they see that maybe you don't have the local experience, but you have so many people that they share in common, gives you that credibility. And also like just believe in yourself, just stick to the profile, even if it takes time. Like a lot of my friends suggested to look at copywriting roles and here and there that would adjust in categories to what I would do. But I just wanted to stick through because whatever you do in a new country as your first job, the chances are that you will get stuck to it. So you stick to your strengths. And if you have been doing something in your country or a previous country and you were successful at it, just believe in yourself. It takes time, but like always play to your strengths. Yeah. And I think the thing you said at the start too was like, the new market might speak in a different language. And that was a big one for me. And one of the things that I do in the strategy finishing school is review after the first strategy fundamentals chapter is you review people's and I, AK, I reviewed your work as well. At the start there, I review people's portfolios. And I think that's really helpful to have a person who's I've had now global experience and lucky to work in Australia, um, America, in Europe. So I can understand what language is going to work and what's not. And I think that's really important. Being able to speak the language is great. And it's so funny that you said that about India is a short resume. Australia is long. And I was totally true. America is short too. So they're what one page. You don't do anything above one page. And that was so hard for me coming from Australia. But you're right. You've got to learn that local language. Thank you so much, AK, for the chat. This was super helpful. If you are trying to make the move into a new market, in, into a new country, feel free to check out the Strategy Finishing School. It might be able to just give you those fundamentals and that language to speak. And as AK said, there's a great community who's also made this move before. Thank you. Thank you.